Hello again, we're going to go through an example of the augmenting paths algorithm to find either an M augmenting path or a minimum vertex cover given a bipartite graph and a matching in that bipartite graph. So now here's an example of a bipartite graph by bipartition X and Y and I've got in orange, and these thick orange edges are my matched edges. I want to perform the, max, the augmenting paths algorithm on this, uh, on this bipartite graph. To initialize, I'm going to set my set vertices to be in R as being my unmatched vertices of X. Next, I want to go through my vertices in R, and I want to see if they're unmarked, which I'm going to mark as a circle. I want to say I'll circle if I've marked it. I'll find an unmarked vertex, and I'm going to try to follow the algorithm to find an M augmenting path. So let's start on the farthest left vertex. Here I've marked this left vertex. I'm going to look across the way to everything across an unmatched vertex. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to see, do I see something that's not in T? Here I see a vertex that's not yet in T. So I can put that in there and I see that it is matched. Because it's matched, I'm going to look across the matched edge and put that in R. So across the matched edge, I see something and I put it in R. And that's my iteration step at that leftmost marked vertex. Now let's go to the next leftmost unmarked vertex and mark it. This vertex, it has uh, some unmatched neighbors. And I look, oh wait, I can put all these things into T, but any one of them is actually going to perform an M augmenting path. If I see that this, T, this vertex here is not, in my, is not a matched vertex, if I follow its predecessor, I will get to this vertex. Therefore, this is an M augmenting path. And therefore, I can augment. It's very simple to augment this way, is that I just add in the edge. Now I need to start all over again with, a new, with this new matching and with new values of R and T. Here is my new matching. Let's consider now what we can do. And observe that I have no single edge augmenting paths at the moment, because I have two unmatched vertices and they go across to matched vertices. So let's see if we can increase it by using the augmenting paths algorithm. Recall that I'm going to start with my unmatched vertices of X being in my set R. And I'm going to go and find an unmarked vertex in R and I'm going to perform my uh, search around, around its neighbors. Here this vertex, I'm going to mark it and I'm look at its neighbor and I see here's a neighbor I'm going to put it into T, and because it's matched, I'm going to look across and I'm going to put this vertex into R. Now let's consider this vertex, because it was in R earlier, and let's see what happens. I'm going to mark it, I'm going to look across, and I see a matched vertex in Y, so I'm going to mark, put it into T. But it's matched, so I'm going to put this vertex into R. Along the other edge that's not in the matching, I'm going to say, hey look, this vertex is also not in T yet, but it's matched, so that means that this vertex is in R. Now if I look at this vertex, it's unmarked. If I mark it, I can't do anything because I can only go across on unmatched vertices, um, unmatched edges. This vertex in R, if I mark it, I'm going to go across this edge that's in, not in the matching, and I see that it's already in T, so there's nothing to do here. Finally, I look at this vertex R in, that's marked, that's unmarked, but it's in R. I'm going to mark it. I look across here and I find an edge that's not in T. So the idea is that I want to go back through all of its predecessors. I got to this vertex following this edge, following this edge, following this edge, which gives me an M augmenting path of length 3. And now to make my matching larger, I need to put this edge in, this edge in, and take this edge out to require me to do a bit of erasing. Now I have a matching in orange, and I have still one unmatched vertex. There's a possibility that I can increase this matching in its size. So let's perform our algorithm again. I start by putting this vertex in R. It's the only unmarked vertex. I'm going to mark it and put its unmatched neighbor into T, or across an edge not matching, put it in T. But then I see it's matched, so I put this one in R. This is the only one that's un. Marked, so I'm going to mark it. I look across this un, 
matched edge, and I'm going to put that into T, but then I have another vertex that's matched to it, and so put that into R. Then I see that this thing is in R, so I'm going to mark it, and look across an unmatched edge, and I see I have something in T, and then I go across my matching, and I see R here. But now when I mark this, there's nothing to do. So now I've actually produced everything that I need. And observe that what happens is I have a set of vertices. I've got my T's, and I've got my things that are not in R. That's a set of five vertices that cover all of my edges. Every edge has an endpoint in at least one of these vertices. So this is going to be, my matching will include these two vertices from X, sorry, my minimum vertex cover. consists of these five vertices. Now that I have these five vertices, I see my matching is of maximum size. It, my matching has size five and my vertex cover has size five. My strong duality, I'm done.